So these are unmanned aerial camera systems. Uh, and everything is produced locally and then we ship it out to you. Yeah, you keep this religiously in the fridge. Okay. Five to seven years. Right, we're the Great Lakes dealer for the Benetil Powerboat products. Hey guys, Eric Kyle, your publisher, Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be down to the Chicago Boat Show, right here in beautiful downtown Chicago. I'm having a blast. As a matter of fact, I'm wandering around. I'm looking for some cool things to report on. My man Michael over at Nozzle Donations. How are you, Michael? I'm good. How about yourself? Good. Good to see you again, my man. Likewise. This is great. I mean fantastic. you got to tell us a little bit more about what Nautical Donations is and what it is that you're doing for the community. So Nautical Donations was founded in 2002 um, to facilitate uh, raising money for nautical related nonprofits in the greater Chicago area. So the problem was these nonprofits, they just didn't have the means or let alone the space to support the potential donors, what the potential donors wanted to give to them. So boats take a lot of space yeah. and storage. So what we do is we raise money for these nonprofits through the sale of donated boats and equipment. Ah. So everything from your old piece of gear to the brand new uh, a piece of equipment that right, you never right. got to install, uh -huh. all sorts of stuff. Life rafts, we've got, as you can see, uh, quite an inventory of boats. Everything from projects to uh, to pristine, ready to sail, to but most of them need some TLC. So okay, okay. Well, you know, we, we've heard of the Donate Your Boat places before, and they all run as the 501c3, so they get a good tax write-off as a donation. Yeah. Is that the same situation with you guys? Absolutely. So it's not uh, like it was in the, the good old days pre-2006, so the IRS changed the laws right, and right. rules so of the game, which is that you once you donate your boat, um, we take over the costs and all that, um, mm -hmm. but you cannot claim, you have to wait for us, for the boat to actually sell. So the yeah. IRS wants the the market value of the boat is what the boat sells for in the year it sells. Okay. And that's when okay. you can file your claim. Well, that's so, perfect. But yeah. still, I mean, in, in the whole interest of what it is that you guys are doing to support these other nonprofits, this is a great way to be able to facilitate that. Absolutely. So whether it's your boat or equipment or anything involved in boating, you guys are kind of like the wholesale place to be able to go to to get that stuff. And the monies that you guys generate are going back into the nonprofits. Absolutely. And the donors, we give them an option with the boats to support any of our six major charities. Uh -huh. uh, we've got the Chicago Maritime Society, the Jug Goldman Adaptive Sailing Foundation, just sailing for the disabled. Yeah. Uh, the Columbia Yacht Club and the Chicago Yacht Club both have youth foundations that we support, um, and the Sea Scouts. Of okay. Yeah. Um, so, and also, you know, part of our mission is not just raising money, but, you know, having reasonably priced boats below market value so that yeah. new boat owners, potential uh, boat owners, people who are curious about becoming a boat owner can easily get in into that recreational hobby. So. And one of the other things that you hear about some of the other donated boats is that you really don't know what you're going to get. Now you guys have full and complete disclosure about what's going on with each one of the boats so when you say they might need a little TLC, you actually tell that potential owner exactly what's going on with that boat. As much as we, we can. We, yeah. We're a small operation, so we can't afford to commission surveys. Right, now, right, right. Sometimes a donor will have commissioned a survey. Sometimes the donors will have had it on a market and commissioned a survey. Right. But I try to interrogate uh, <laughs> the donors as much as possible. Right, no, right. no water boning right, or anything right, right, like right, that. Right. But try because they know the boat the best. So yeah. the little t tweaks and little problems that they may know, we try to, I try to get that information out of them so I can pass it on to the potential buyer. Well, regardless, this is a great way to be able to get boats out to the market that are inexpensive and also support an absolutely tremendous cause, absolutely. which are a lot of the nonprofits in the marine industry here in the Chicago area. Absolutely. And you, know, and you can know that the money you're putting in is not going to someone's pocket, but it's going to help. Yeah, 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 great, yeah. Great causes. Great idea, Michael. Industry. Absolutely love it, my man. So let's say we can't make it down to the Chicago Boat Show. Tell me where I'm going to go online to be able to find out more information about nautical donations and how to get involved. So you can just go to www. Uh, nauticaldonations.org. Okay. So, and we have all the information there. We're currently trying to build our volunteer base because these boats, they need some TLC. Yeah. We get them as is. We like to tidy them up, clean them up, and any skills 
whether you're a sailor or not, to clean or to fix or do minor repairs okay. are, are much uh, valued. So. so all you got to do really is go to nauticaldonations.org and you can find out more information there about volunteering or how to get involved with getting your boat or equipment bought or sold there on the site. Is that right? That is. Michael, thank you so much, my man. Greatly appreciate it. You guys, make sure you do this. This is very important for not only the Chicago community, but for sailing in general. Nauticaldonations.org. Thanks so much, and we'll see you out on the water.